biogaseducation.com. As you can see, we've run into a good problem here. We have more gas than we can use right now for barbecuing because I have run out of things to barbecue, but that is no problem because I am now installing a biogas lamp. So this is a lamp that is uh, produced by the Pusheen Company. There's a few different companies that you can purchase this from. Uh, the links for which are in my class under biogas lamp. And so it has like a little mesh sack in it. It's kind of like a standard camping lamp that you would use with um, propane. And the way it works is it's going to hook up to that biodigester over there. And I'm using a green gas line that I got from the Pusheen Company um, for going from the lamp to here because it is the right size. And then I'm going to be switching to the yellow gas line because it's going to be on the ground. So that way, you know, when people walk through here, hopefully it'll see, ooh, gas line. And I'm going to put in landscaping um, pins here to avoid people from tripping, trying to keep it out of the way as it goes back here to the digester. What's nice about the tubing, the 3 8 inch diameter tubing from the Pusheen Company is that it really snugs on tightly to any 3 8 inch application you have for biogas such as the lamp or the stove. The downside is, is that it does not like to come apart. And as you can see, the way I have this set up right now is this tube goes from the lamp all the way down to the bottom. Now, um, if there's a major thunderstorm coming or wind, I am going to want to take this lamp down because as you can see, it is rather fragile looking. I'm going to show you how to do that. Whether it's a gas bag, a lamp, or a stove, if it's anything that I want to detach from one object to the next, I really like using this half inch threaded PVC union. And so when you buy your union, um, this is female threaded. You want to look to make sure that this o-ring is in place And if this o-ring is not here, you want to pick a different Union because it does easily fall out so that you have one that is going to have a nice tight seal So this is half inch um, male threaded a 3 8 inch barb in this half inch PVC Union again right here is the half inch so the way to remember um, which part goes where, so um, female, so this is female threaded, female stays in place and male thread travels around. So this is the piece that is going to be hanging at the top of the gas line over here while this male piece is going to be attached to the lamp. Here is the completed biogas lamp project. So this right here is the side that everybody sees when they are walking into my yard. So there's no gas line that you can see from the presentation side. Um, but if you go to the back side where you um, are feeding your biodigester and doing your compost, you can see my setup here. So I decided to go ahead and put the PVC union right here. And the benefit of that is I have this little clamp and this piece here is going to be too big to fall back into here and this is also going to prevent this tube from sliding down so it helps to secure the tube so that you keep that little loop up there in place so there's plenty of slack for the lamp and i have some give here so when i need to i can unscrew this because i am going to have to replace that little fabric like filament in there every once in a while and I have another clamp right here. And this right here is just a half inch um, vinyl tubing that is so easy to use as an adapter when you have 3 8 to 3 8 um, I had a prong I could have used in here too, but this is just super cheap. And guess what, it works. And here we go. My biogas lamp is lit. I don't have it on all the way. I have it about half the way turned on um, from the valve with the whole biogas unit. So I just figured that was going to be way too high for this adorable little lamp. But 
it is burning and we do know that we do want to burn our biogas and not let it off gas into the atmosphere because a CH4 is like 20 or 25 times more harmful to our environment than CO2 and what we do know is when we burn biogas it turns into C2O2 so I'm doing a good thing by burning it because I totally don't have anything to barbecue tonight and I'm just gonna let it go this is gonna wind its way down.